What's up, Dave? What's up, Justin? What's going on, everybody? Yeah. Yeah, we're live, man. Yeah, whatever. James, what's up, buddy? Hello from Mississippi. There you go. Yeah. Like a boss. What's up, Bill? Howdy from Dallas. <laughs> Whoa, Dean magically disappeared. Had to wash my hands. Alabama, UK. Tony, hey, what's, what's up, that, Tony? Tony? Now, apparently, uh, when you deep in a, a GM... Hello from Chicago. A GM harness. What's up, Jason? It's very sharp. They have, like, the, it's very sharp. So, of course, I cut my thumb and got blood all over that harness. What's up, yeah. buddy? Nothing like the end of the day. You get yeah. a truck that comes in. Uh, the plug is cut. Clint. Needs a smart harness. Fuses are blown. Well, it's got BMW speakers in the door of a Chevy pickup truck. The radio's cutting off. The dash kit's broken. And you just get handed a stack of stuff and go, hey, he just wants steering wheel controls to work. Yeah. <sighs> Not even happened. Ray Fernando. Yeah. He was over there getting drinks. Don't, yeah. <laughs> so up from Cali. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was, uh, that was a couple minutes ago. Yes, um, what's up, Wayne? You know, still burns. Oh. Mm, pain. Yeah. Um, so we had, I uh, say, you ain't working if you ain't bleeding. I bleed way too much, man. Way too okay, much. Okay, I want to work, but I don't want to bleed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so, painful. Tone, um, yeah, I'm not, a, I mean, I bleed, I bleed way too much. I've already given half my finger, as you know. You've seen that when we were in Cali together. Um, what's up, Clint? How's it going, buddy? Yep. So today we had an interesting thing happen. We got Paul walked over with an envelope. <laughs> yes. And uh, it had it was it was an envelope with a check in it, and yeah. it was it was kind of cool. So it says this is to buy you a beer for your excellent video on YouTube. Audio issue with the 2005 Solera convertible. We shot a couple videos on that. We, you guys have seen them on here. Yeah. What's his name? Um, his name is Steve. And uh, yeah, apparently he just. Sent us a check for 25 bucks. Uh, it was really cool. So that yeah. bought us uh, five guys today for lunch. Uh, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. It bought us Jimmy John's. What am I saying? Five guys. I don't, I don't know. know. I, we are only two right here. Come on, man. <laughs> I didn't even eat red meat. Um, so, um, if you need to tell when we're working on ice cream interior panels. Oh, Ooh. yeah, 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 yeah. Cream. Yeah. Why did yeah. I say ice cream? I don't know. Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> As if I didn't have enough sugar. An ice this cream now, nah, it's melting in oh, my ear. Oh god, I had a donut oh this morning, god. and then I didn't have anything for like four or five hours, and I'm like, why am I loopy? And it was like, oh yeah, I gotta eat. Uh, I gotta yeah. eat some actual real food. Correct. Apparently, donut isn't enough to sustain you through the day. Ah, no yeah, kidding. So right? that was that was kind of funny. Yeah. But you know, it was a typical Monday. It was really a typical Monday. Uh, we had a. Uh, a customer drive up from Miami. That, yes. Um, he's a, he's a fellow. Uh, uh, fan. YouTube, YouTube fan. And uh, yeah. he was having issues. We'd done his car, and we had issues. Turns out he had a bad amp. Can you share your tuning playlist, please, Dean? I think I've shared that before, but yeah, I will. Yeah. We're actually updating the tuning playlist a little bit now because we have a new favorite song thanks to yeah, uh, Bill. As you guys, you guys know Bill. Um, <laughs> Dean loves ice cream. What's Dean you, does man? love ice Como cream. Estas? I'm a yeah. big fan of ice cream. Uh, we have a local place here that makes takes two of my favorite things. They take what's up, Jeremy from Clearwater at Pack Headquarters, outsourced, of course. Uh, um, they take two of my favorite things. Okay. They take ice cream and they take homemade carrot cake and they combine the two together and they make carrot cake ice cream. Yes. It's amazing. That's the only thing I like from there. They have coconut cake ice cream too but it's not as good something about cake and ice cream all in the convenience of a cone it's like a dream come true yep and i don't eat it a lot because i'm not a big fan of sugar but when i do it's like i want specific things i'm not gonna lie i'm like everyone else it's like i don't just eat it to eat it because it's not fun but it's like if i'm gonna have ice cream i want ice cream man yeah i'm currently at hq tonight working late oh well, that's cool. nice I, I i feel bad for you but awesome um maybe i don't know uh, 4800 BH, uh, BS, what kind of, uh, GPS? Uh, it's gonna be the AVIC U280. Yes, okay, so, but Ardilla, el, um, AVIC... U280. 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 There you go. It's a plug-in add-on navigation system that pretty much works on any Pioneer with the exception of 
the inexpensive ones, like a 201, a 200, 190, a 290. If anything with like a one or two in the prefix, mm -hmm. the first is like the third letter or the first letter that yeah. only has three digits. So if it's like a 100 or a 200, it's not nice. going to work nav. But if it's a 2800, which is a four digit, it will work nav. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, everyone's following, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Did you get internet fix? No like. Okay. So what we're doing today is we're actually, we switched the phones because what we think it was is we think it, we were using an old iPhone 6, 6 Plus. Yeah. And we think we were having microphone issues on that. So we switched to a 7 Plus. For now, we have a whole new system that we're, we're doing a lot of research on changing the whole way we do this. Yep. Um, we also, <laughs> sadly, just got internet in the install bay. I know, right? It is 2018, but yeah. Um, the reason why we didn't have it was because the the here we use Bright House. Bright House hates businesses. They were giving us really crappy. It was like dial up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like 13 megs, I want to say. It was it was crap. Yes. Uh, we couldn't even download updates. It was horrible. You could do like PDF files, so we couldn't even do a show. So we just said, screw it, and we canceled it. Well, not, it got bought out by Spectrum. Spectrum is more business-oriented. They had a business package um, because we didn't have anything, so we could do cable. So now in the waiting room, you can actually kick back and watch TV, which came in real handy Saturday because they had to wait in the waiting room for like, eight hours so yeah. that was rough yeah. for those guys but they didn't care they were just happy to be there but they got to surf the uh, tv which was really cool yeah correct. Uh, and now of course we have internet in the install bay which it's awesome it is going to be awesome because that's going to open up this show we might take this from here over to the install bay yeah. um that way we can do more hands-on stuff um plus we're looking to change up the whole way we do the show as far as um using a changing out the camera basically a way to spend more money but hopefully get a better product in the end so yeah. we're gonna see how that works out plus we're also toying around with the idea of doing like YouTube and Facebook live at the same time yeah yeah that would be cool so. and since we're talking about YouTube and Facebook real quick the podcast went live last week yep so now uh, right now it's available in two places it's yeah. available on pod bean that's p o d b e a n not bean mm -hmm. it's bean Mm -hmm. Bean, like beans, beans, good tea. Okay. Anyways, um, and then it's also available on iTunes. We're planning on switching that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna expand the um, the uh, snowing in Chicago. Man, it, honestly, it's hot as hell in here right now. I yeah, mean, I'm 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 almost like, um, it's kind of cool outside, but right in here, Paul didn't run the air all day because he was sick, so it's like a sauna in here right now. It's terrible. Anyways, so the it's available on iTunes. We're gonna expand it out to Google Play once I get time, but there. Are, so the plan is now, as mm -hmm. of right now, we record a podcast that is specific, just just a podcast. Meaning there's no video, there's no YouTube, there's no nothing. Correct. <laughs> is hell outside. Okay. Um, <laughs> any, anyways, um, is a podcast that's just a podcast. I mean, it's just the two of us. We're, we're we're developing the show right now. We recorded one last week. It, it went up Thursday. Yeah. Um, we recorded it Wednesday night. We're in four inches of snow. God, that wow. sucks. Um, I'm not complaining about our weather. Trust me, it's not a complaint. I live in Florida because our weather is awesome. Um, well, thank you, Justin. So, uh, anyways, so is he leaving? Got to no, see no, you no, 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 no. He's like, hey, oh. I finally got to see you. Guys. Oh, cool. Um, so, anyways, the the podcast. Okay, so the podcast is going to consist of three shows. It's going to be this show right here. So, mm -hmm. in case you guys miss it, or you can only pop in for a couple minutes just to say hello, tell us what your weather's like and where, where you're from. Mm -hmm. Then you got to get back to work. Yeah, no problem. You could catch it tomorrow, of course, on YouTube if you like to watch the whole interaction thing. But if you just want to listen to it, it's going to be available for listening on podcast. Yes. The Saturday YouTube show that some of you might not catch and might not be able to rewatch just because it's an hour long. Yeah, um, I know these hour long shows are hard to watch, so we're going to turn that into a podcast. It's mm -hmm. not yet. And then we'll have an original podcast that's just us talking. And the phone rings. Hello? So that'll be three shows oh, for podcasts good. for you guys to check out. Yeah. So plenty of stuff to listen to. Uh, if you can't catch the live shows, then you'll be able to, to listen, listen to them. Listen to it, yeah. Um, and not have to worry about killing your battery because the video is playing in the background. So that'll be awesome. What's up, Drew? Yep. Um, podcast for Android. Yeah, it's on Podbean. Uh, and we will bean. Yeah. And we will have it on the Google Play Store once I get around to setting that up. I'm gonna try to get that done here in the next couple days. Yep. Um, so that's the that's the plan on the podcast. So go check out the the most recent one. 
Um, there'll be another one this week, and yo, yo. Hey, Drew. Um, so, uh, okay. All right. So, Rich, I have a 2016 baseline Mustang GT with a small little head unit. I installed two JL10 <coughs> uh, subwoofers in the sealed box running off the Alpine MRV500, which is use, I'm using the pack um, LOC. Tap okay. it into the rear speakers, the bass it's it's okay, but not that great. Correct. Does this car has a roll off? Yes. Do I need an audio control with an why, IQ bass? Why, why aren't we just doing a radio? It's 2006. Oh, he have a radio. What kind of radio is uh, it? I have 2016. No, no, he doesn't have a radio. I mean, yeah. Uh, I I would I would get an aftermarket radio for that. The uh, okay, so like an LC an LC LC2i is, mm -hmm. is over $100, okay? A 2006 doesn't require any special harness. LC2i? Yeah, LC2i. Uh, oh, Audio oh. control, LC2i yeah, yeah. is over $100. There's no special requ harness required for a 2006. Okay. You could get into a single den badass radio for under $120 or at $120 with Bluetooth, wow. USB, aux, yeah. six channel uh, for about $150 bucks and get something with four volt and a Kenwood or a Pioneer. Claro. I, I would buy a new radio. I mean, it doesn't matter. Even at the end of the day, even if you... It, uh, it's a 2016? Yeah, well, 2016. You said 2006. 16. You said six. 16. All right, was it 2006? Get an LC2i. Yes, get yeah. an LC2i. Yeah. It has base roll off. Okay, yeah. really? I... I say 2016. I heard 2006. Okay, You're I don't know me. what you hear. Okay. All right, yes, if you have a 2006... And it's just a base model, get an LC2i for sure. That'll totally fix that. You can dial in your bass roll off, get your bump and bass back in place. Yeah, AccuBase would totally help you out on that. All right. Thank uh, you, Jeremy. There you go. This Jeremy. guy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Again, thank you. Uh, Nick, uh, audio control D6, 1200. Uh, you know when it's going to be released. If it's an EcoBoost, then need to disable the ANC mics. Yes. I think if it's yeah. a base model, though, I think you might be okay. All right. Do you know when it's going to release? What was the question? The audio control. The which one? D6-1200. The D6-1200? The D6 um, we just ordered them. They were just available for order last week. And so probably in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Sometime this month. I believe it's sometime this month. Because we were allowed to finally order them this last week so we the lc the lc's a bit out i'm looking at one right now but um i think the d's are going to be out within the next 30 days usually they if they allow us to order them they're usually available in the next 30 days so yeah. um, i don't know how much the first production run will be but according to the i'm just thinking with the success of the lc i think there'll be enough of them all right uh nicholas uh can you Pays there anyone a pioneer to hurry up with the uh, <laughs> firmware update so I can get ways back to my 2300 NES? So supposedly it's not Pioneer that's having the issue. The issue is with the third party Waze. company that they're using to get ways, which is also going to be the third party company that Kenwood's using. It's the exact same company that's coming out in their system. Mm -hmm. um, it's not Pioneer, supposedly. It's ways in the third party company having issues with that so it's a software update it's just who's responsible for it mm -hmm. is they're they're being very coy about that i've gotten a couple emails that i was explicitly told not to share anybody yeah. on and it, it's not a pretty thing i mean at the end of the day they're all just kind of pissed at each other so yeah we'll see how that pans out at the end of the, it almost sounds like it's google just saying to apple yeah all right, uh, uh, Jorge Sanchez, uh, necesito más información porque no sé qué tipo de uh, pack producto estás utilizando. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, what do you think about the KFC high-res speakers from Kenwood? Uh, we just got those in last week. Uh, we were going to put them on the YouTube show on Saturday, but we didn't end up doing that show to almost 9 o'clock because we were running really late. Yep. So we were next, this Saturday, they will be on the show. We'll have them. We'll show you guys all what comes in the box, all touchy-feely. So check out the Saturday show, and, and we'll talk more about them then. I don't want to spoil it till then. All right. Uh, Fidel, uh, Rockford Fosgate 300-watt micro on pros and cons. I'm sorry, what was the question? 
I was, I was, I, yeah. Rock for I'm having a gate. tough time today. It's yes. Monday. My attention is like, I feel like a squirrel. All right. Okay. Focus, Dean. I'm focused. All right. Rock for Fastgate. Yes. 300 watts. Yes. Microamp. PBR. Yes. Okay. Prone. Pros and cons. Pros and cons of a PBR amplifier. Yes. Pros and cons of a PBR amplifier. Pros would be that it's small. It's great if you're trying to hide it somewhere. Can fit like if you're gonna if you're gonna tuck it up. Like in a, we've used them before in, the Jeep? in Jeeps where we've actually taken the glove box, the, the the back part of the glove box out and mounted it up, up up inside there. I actually did a G wagon where I put six of them in a G wagon up where the factory subwoofer was. I lined them all up and I had uh, two 302s and four 301s. That was really cool. Um, the downside to them was the Porsche 944. Uh, it's the one with the motor in the front. Um, and uh, the, the really the only... It yeah, I know. We gotta, we gotta turn on the, the air conditioner. Yeah. should go turn it on real quick. No, I just leave it like that. Oh, so just sweat for an hour? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay, anyways. The, the cons are really, it's, it's, you got to have good voltage. I mean, at the end of the day, it takes a 10 gauge. Mm -hmm. You got to have good voltage. Yeah. Um, we've never really had an issue with any of them. So once you put them in, um, you, as long as you dial them in correctly and follow the instructions as far as the lights, there's lights on the side of them. It's like almost got a really first generation DD1 built into it. Mm -hmm. As long as you follow the instructions, you're fine. Personally, I would go for the 501. It's like a little longer, and it's better to have the extra power. But that's just, you know, if, if you've got the room. Okay. Right. Uh, Cody say the audio on the podcast rocks. The, the focus? Those, what? The audio in the... In the podcast. Oh, okay. Rocks. Okay, jeez. You're talking too fast. I'm, right. I'm having a really hard time staying focused today. Yeah, I don't All know right. what it is. I think, I think... Thank you, Cody. Anyway. Yeah. Let's move on. It's the PBRs. Uh, yeah, it's the PBR. Exactly. Pa yeah. Paps Blue Ribbon. Mm -hmm. PBR. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, dude, it's just been one of those days, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, God, yeah. remember earlier? I don't yeah. even remember what I was... Oh, I was trying to wire up a harness. I had to take the harness apart three times. Yeah. You know? And then the next car, the harness was just wrong. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, I know I paid attention on this yeah. one. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh, just having a, a real bad case. Thank you, Mondays. Hyundai. Right? Yes, thank you, Hyundai. All right. Uh, then... Yes. He said, do you guys have any experience with the Kicker Q-Class subs? If you so, is there much difference between the L7s and the L7 Q-Class? So we haven't, we've gotten them in for customers before. Like we special order them for people. We've yep. never really actually had a chance to play with them. Um, Big Red did that pair. Yeah. Um, Big Red worked for Bright Star Car Audio. They're the guys that build the boxes for us. If right. you guys need any boxes, check out Bright Star Car Audio. Yes. Um, and car audio, et cetera, on YouTube. Let's get James over 10,000. Yeah. He's not there yet. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, he loved them. He thought yeah. they were incredible. Um, now, L7s just came out with the inexpensive version of the L7. So now you have like a good, better, best in the L7 mm -hmm. category. The L7 is already an amazingly loud, wow speaker. I mean, it's like people that love L7s love L7s yeah. for the same reason why people like JL Audio. Uh, other than the fact, you know, it's just this this iconic subwoofer. Um, and the Q-Class is better. Right. But there again, it's always that, is it worth this to you? Yeah. You know, is it worth the extra? Yeah. So. Also, don't forget to uh, follow... Um... Stereo King. Stereo King, yes. See? There. Uh, hey. I got it that time. I got, I got, I got this. Yeah, check okay. out Station. Yeah. Uh, uh, check Jason. out Jason. Station. Station. <laughs> Jeez, and I lost it that quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I don't this, know. you guys are watching live the demise of Dean. He's exactly. just falling apart in front of your faces. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Hey, speaking of YouTube, did yeah. you guys Steve Mead? Steve yes. Mead, the, yeah. the Godfather of Car Audio. Yeah. Uh, he went over five hundred thousand, which is amazing because he's like the first guy in our industry to get that notoriety because he's been doing it the longest, and he you know he's still putting them out, still still weekly, weekly, yeah. Yeah. and. Uh, for him to get over five hundred thousand, that's is, contagious. Is, yes, is, it is. is hope for us um, that you know one day we'll we'll get to fifty and we then hope. sixty and then yeah. you know and, and just keep moving along slowly but surely. You know, uh, Doug and um, and uh, Cardio Fabricators are both you know at a, at a quarter. You know, they're both at two hundred fifty thousand. Salman and yeah, uh, so and Mark. You yes. know, that's that's good. Yeah. He's unraveling. OCD yeah. meets ADD. Yep, exactly. Yeah. 
Um, okay. So, sorry. Let's focus. All right. I'm focused. Uh, sure. Yep. All right. right. I'm on you. Boom. Yes. John. Drop the dynamite. 2006 Lexus GX 470. Yes. With the Mark Levinson system. Okay. In navigation. Yes. What is the best way to swap the radio? Um... If I was to do it, like I would obviously need a big budget to do that because I'm pulling everything out. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, I'm gonna go to Beat Sonic and see if Beat Sonic makes a harness for that. Because Beat Sonic, that's their specialty, are those products. So I'm gonna go to Beat Sonic first. If if the only thing I'm doing is replacing the radio, I'm going to Beat Sonic mm -hmm. to see if they make a, a harness. Mm -hmm. If Beat Sonic has a harness and I'm cool with that, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna be happy. If I have a bigger budget, I'm pulling everything out, going new speakers, new amps, new sub, and gonna have a really awesome sounding car. But that's that's how I would. Those are the two choices I would have. All right, uh, Eric. Hey, LB, what's up? Okay. Uh, Eric, uh, you guys ever work on a second generation Scion TC? If so, what speakers you guys recommend to upgrading from the factory? I know we worked on one. Yes. Um, I mean, it's it's a Scion, which is a Toyota. Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably for that just because it's a Scion, I'm gonna probably go with the Kenwood Exelon seven inches. All right. Um, yeah. Probably look at the Kenwood Exelon seven inch because they're gonna come with the brackets to 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 marriage up into that car. Foam. Yeah. Um, the foam and all that. Yeah. Um, and also they're 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 semi reasonably priced compared to let's say the Focal Perfect Fit. So. Yeah. Right. You know, looking at what the car is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with those. Right. Okay. Uh, Jorge Sanchez, escríbeme la, escríbeme la pregunta y, y te la contestamos aquí. Uh, all right, Justin. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna run three Rock Four, uh, old school system. The oh. amps itch. Okay. Uh, just to show off on old school power. Have you all ever played with the DSR one? Will be able to have three presets total set up for each set of the amp. Um, okay, so the DSR one we're actually just starting to play with right now. As far as we're going to start shooting the videos on the DSR one, mm -hmm. so that's a great question for next week. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And honestly, I don't have the answer for that yet because though we've we've toyed with the DSR one, we don't know all its intrinsic. We don't know all its ins and outs yet. Yeah. So we're 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 we've been having the piece for like as soon as they came out, but we haven't had the time to play with it. So tonight we're yeah. taking it home because we're gonna start filming videos on it tomorrow. So DSR one videos will be coming out here shortly. All right, Donnie. Uh, Alpine brake, uh, forty five watts times four. Uh, or the Rock 4 P, they are PBR. 400, yes, the PBR 404, 50 watts, a 4 ohm Ooh. A channel, or 100 watts, a 4 ohm, a 2 channel. What in the hell are the amps rated at 2 ohm where they only speakers of 4 ohm? Because that's what those little guys like to do, it's kind of annoying. I'm with you. Uh, if we're just powering four speakers, I gotta be honest with you, I'm going with the Alpine. I'm I'm going with that Alpine 45 by four all day long. Uh, it's a brick. It's reliable as hell. Um, I'm going with that over the PBR. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Carlos. Hey guys, I got a Punch P404. We will able to use probably the factory wire, or should I should I run a new speaker wire? It's a 2016 F150 XLT. A 2016 F-150. Okay, so what I'm doing if I got a 2016 F-150 and I'm putting in a system in it, um, I'm buying the uh, Access uh, T-Harness for their DSP mm -hmm. uh, because that's going to allow me to not have to cut any wires whatsoever. We actually buy a Car AV is the manufacturer, uh, Bluetooth interface T-Harness off of Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it takes like two weeks to get here. Because um, it comes from Europe, but you could probably find locally the um, Metra Access T harness for their high level to low level DSP. I'm buying that one of those two first because that's going to allow me to go right behind the radio. I don't have to cut any wires. I just plug in. It's got a male and female end. Rock on. Secondly, I'm running uh, to to do the high level. Um, I, I have if it's a 400 watt amp, I'm running Speedwire in and out. 
So I believe that was the question, Do we, do can you run Speedwire? Right. Yeah, so I'm running Speedwire in and out all day long, no problems whatsoever. Yep. So yeah, but that T harness is key, so you don't have to cut that harness in 2016. All right, run. Uh, I have a 2006 ESV Escalade. Does the factory amp send power to all the speaker or just the subwoofer? If it, yeah, it powers everything. The factory amplifier powers everything in the car. All right, Eric. Uh, I need and help. It should be under the armrest. All right. I need okay. help. I was cleaning my 2006 Toyota wiring harness and I cut the wrong wire. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, the left speaker not working. Do okay. you know where I can get the harness? Why not? A new just... harness. I have a. I have the pack. Pack four. RP four. I think so. Why not just solder the harness back together again? I mean, we take RP4 harnesses apart yeah. all the time. I mean, at the end of the day, unless you cut it so short that the pin is not there anymore, in yeah. which case you might just need to pick up like a 1761 harness and just pull the pins out of it, or an 8113, 8113 or 8112. Do yourself a favor. Go on and type in um, BHA8113, yeah. 8112, or... 1761 yes one of those three harnesses is going to be the harness that's in the car if you cut it too close to where you can depin it and put a new pin in it one of those three harnesses will have the pin that you can pull out and plug back in so check those out okay all right david uh a 2008 kia sorento have an issue with the radio not holding the memory or not turning on at the time uh have you see this issue a Sorento? Yes, Kia no. Sorento. No. Is it an aftermarket radio? Do we know? I believe so. Um, check your install. Check the ground. I would check the ground. Check the ground? Check the ground. Because um, you might be, it might be one of those, it might be an issue where the ground isn't strong enough in the harness because it was pulling through the metal mounting brackets. Mm -hmm. And then the FM antenna, of course, doesn't have a ground anymore. So... Or just wire around the harness. That's also an option too. You could just, you know, make a jumper around the harness. If the harness is bad, like if you got a really cheap harness, sometimes we've come across really cheap harnesses where the pins don't line up. Um, so yeah, you could do a jumper around it, just like a test jumper, you know, to just see if that's the case. Um, Cartani, what's going on? Um, but yeah, video? or if you really want to get, you know, crazy on it, you could put a tap in a meter, a voltmeter to it, and just see what's going on, you know, when it turns on and off. Um, I mean, anytime we're going to fix it, we're going to try to go for a permanent solution, so we're going to check the harness, we're going to pull the radio out, meter everything, see what, you know, chest continuity between the plugs, um, find out what's going on there. But, yeah. Yeah. All right. But there's, um, no, there's no reason why it should be doing it other than something connected at the plug. All also, right. One, one last thing. If you butt connect it together, make sure to check your butt connectors, okay? Because that happens every now and then, too. All right, this is this is kind of tricky. Um, <laughs> Gabe said, recommend me a sub setup loudest I can get without taking too much room. And what kind of car? Exactly. Loudest you can get without taking too much room. Yes. Well, okay, so I mean, if we want to talk hypothetical here, we had a Honda Fit that uh, uh, Big Rob had, mm -hmm. and he put six P312s in the space underneath, you know, where, where the spare tire goes. Mm -hmm. He put six P312s in there, you know. They didn't take up any room, and it was loud as hell. So, you it know, depends. there again, I've what also, kind of you know, yeah. like the, like uh, um, Anthony <laughs> Anthony's Explorer. Yeah. One T1... T110 in a ported box with with a thousand watts of power yeah blows the thing apart yeah you know and that's only you know so it really just depends or or if you want a, a crazy box builder guy I can't ever remember his name he built a little uh, sundown six inch ported enclosure yes um, yes I, I can't you know remember that was either. like looked like a little cooler yeah and that thing got down so I mean just depends okay go on all right uh kink. I have an Alpine Mini 45 by 4 sub M. Should I get the LC2 or the LC7 Honda Core 2016? 
So the first thing on a Honda Accord I'm going to ask is there's a couple things you have to check when you do 2016. First off, does it have the automatic noise canceling headphones? Or headphones. Automatic noise canceling system, ANC. I'm sure you've seen that. That's a little microphone that goes, you can check in the back headliner where the, between where the two passengers sit. Yeah. There's a little one by one cube up in the ceiling. If it has that, you're going to have to disable those first. There's yeah. a silver box up in the dash that you can unplug or you can get the mic in the front in the back and unplug those. First things first, that's what you need to do. The second question I'm going to ask you is does it have a factory subwoofer? If it has the factory subwoofer, that means there's going to be an amplifier in there and that amplifier actually is preamp level from the radio to that factory amplifier. Yeah. You can actually tap in before the amplifier and a set of RCAs and not have to worry about anything from that point. You just tap in RCAs. Now, if it's just a base model system that has the noise canceling and there's no outboard amplifier, then an LP72 would probably be a good idea if you're trying to get the best bass yeah. possible. LP72. Yes. LP72. Uh, because that's going to help for the bass roll off. It's also going to give you some form of equalization. Uh, if you don't have bass roll off, you can always use AccuBase as a bass boost if the yeah. amp doesn't have one. Now, if all things are considered and the amplifier you had has a bass boost and everything is great, you could just like 90% of the time, we're just doing the pack audio LP7, LP2. Yeah. LP72. So, that, yep. did, I, did I get that right? LC2I, LP72, right? LC2. I got the numbers yes, right? Yes, okay. correct. There's a lot of L's and... A lot of L's and 7's so, and... So, <laughs> um, either, you know, there's no wrong way to do it other than to find out, does it have ANC, does it have the factory amplifier? Yeah. Okay, all right, go on. All right, Justin, uh, where can I get one or zero ferrules? Like, one gauge, zero gauge ferrules. And do you crimp them or do you just let the hair shrink holding it? Okay, so Ferrell's Direct is where we buy our Ferrell's. Ferrell's Direct will only sell you in quantity though, so you have to buy a whole bag. So if you have a group of guys that are gonna need some zero gauge Ferrell's, you can go on to Ferrell's Direct and buy a bag of 100 or 50 or something like that. Um, or, or maybe get some, you know, some guys together and, and buy a whole bunch of them. Now, Amazon also sells ferals. The problem is, is they don't really, it's really hard to find the zero gauge ferals there. We're having a hard time with them too, because Aloha in Hawaii, two weeks, man, I love my, <laughs> um, Ola, Aloha. Aloha. Jesus, Alo Ola, Pfft, I'm losing it. Anyways, so. There again, Ferrell's Direct, if you want to buy quantity, you can buy from them. Otherwise, you're just going to have to keep doing an Amazon search. They will rotate yep. up in there every now and then, um, and they are more expensive than just buying the 100 lot or 50 lot that they sell. Um, All right. And no, okay, to the second part of the question is, yeah. no, we let the heat shrink hold them. Uh, something that big, we've tried to crimp them. I've actually bought a couple different big Ferrell crimpers, uh, and it's just been disastrous. So I don't know why it just doesn't work as well as the small ones. All right, LV. Uh, what's better for the Jetta 2016? We have a LC7, or you just get a Pioneer double din. And what parts do I need for the aftermarket radio? So I, of course, would always just in a Jetta. I'm I'm trying to replace the radio because that factory system sucks to integrate into. Um, as far as integrating the parts into it, that I'm going to go to. Uh, MetraOnline.com. Yeah. Um, right now, they're the only ones that have the interface. If you have the factory backup camera, that's an RGB backup camera, uh, red, green, blue. Yeah. Um, they're the only ones that have. I don't even know if it's available yet, but they're the only ones that are going to have that backup camera available for the Jetta. So if any of you guys out there have Jettas and, and newer ones, you want to keep that factory camera instead of having to have an aftermarket. Pa uh, Metra Online will, will they will Metra uh, will have the interface for that, but. For that, yeah, I'm going to go to Metro Online and get all my parts there. All right. If all you're trying to do, though, is just add a sub, I mean, you can just do an LP2 and call it a day. All right, Eric. Uh, we're we using two components set. Two components set. Uh, Whoa, what just happened there? I don't know. Temperature is hot. iPhone needs to cool down. All right, we're back. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Apple. Ooh, oh, I know, what were we right? answering? I don't remember what we were asking. I don't asking. remember, man. There was a, oh, it was a good question. Um, uh, it doesn't let me go back. Oh, you can't go back? No. Really? Saying, yeah. Oh, how I'm the hell did that happen? I can't. Uh, 
All right, we're real sorry about that. Uh, the phone overheated. It's up again. Yeah, hey, Cody. What's up? Welcome back. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Welcome, Jason. Like we said, <laughs> we're trying to find a more a, a better solution, and apparently because yes. it is kind of hot in here, uh, you should have turned on the air when I told you to. Uh, the phone just overheated. Phone yeah. crashed. Yeah, it overheated and crashed. I've never seen that one happen before. So we never it's had that from problem. Missouri. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't even remember the question I was getting ready to answer. So that totally sucks. Yes. And, uh, so if, if you were answer, if you had a question, go ahead. Sorry, just go ahead and answer. What was that one? Ah, uh, okay. Car tuning. Ah, uh, por el momento ahorita no se puede utilizar Waze con Pioneer. Aparentemente están tratando de que de que todo vuelva a funcionar igual, sí, so Ben's hay right. que esperar. Kick on the AC. Yeah. It's Fernando's, Fernando's fault. fault. It's always Fernando's fault, man. What time is it? Yeah, okay. No, and like I said, we're 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 um we're we're trying to come. We we have a better solution. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of getting all the parts in line. So <laughs> somebody died at nine one one. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll we'll have all, in the next couple of weeks. By the end of February, we'll definitely have all the, all this nightmare straightened out. But yeah, are you going to hopefully. add Lumi to your online tool drawer? What is Lumi? Uh, Lumi? Or did you make it? It didn't make the cut. Uh, oh, that might be the um the the uh, um the, the, no the um Lenium. the scope. That we oh gotta give, yes, the, the, that we got to give away. Yeah. We still got to give that away. We haven't given it away. We still got to give that away. Still sitting in my toolbox. Christmas right. totally screwed that up, man. Oh man. I think I should just randomly pick no, some and just like, just mail it to him. It can take me back. Um, mm. but Osco. Yep, yep. No, it, it it did make the cut. Uh, but I haven't. I there's there's like 50 things I need to add to the tool drawer that I haven't added yet. So. Right. Yep, the scope. Yeah, no, the scope made the cut. Uh, you guys, yeah, it was it wasn't bad. It it actually, it was close enough to where it was close enough for government work. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Um. I would love to have yours. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta, Jesus, I can't even talk. But no, we're gonna, we still need to give that away. Yeah. I, we're gonna give it away at some point. Yeah. Uh, and we're back. Yep. Uh, hola, uh, what's that say? Uh, what's up, Willie? From Mexico City. There we go. Uh, I bought one. Don't pick me. Okay. Don't pick well, no problem, Cody. And I hope yours is working great. All right. Uh, so I find another question. Installed in the bay. Wi Fi is in the bay. Yes. Uh, we have, the bay is Wi Fi up. Um, what happened was the phone overheated for some reason. Yeah. Um, I think because the case was on it. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're trying a new thing just to kind of drag this Make along until we get the actual tools that we want to do the live show. So that's coming. Uh, it's just. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, John, okay. can I use a Stinger 12 gauge speaker wire in the engine bay? was hoping to use it for a LED bar. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yes, there, there's there's no reason why you, you know, Stinger actually sells a, um, a, a single strand. Um, no, we didn't do the top five, five channel amps. Um, Stinger actually makes a yeah. a 12 gauge single strand, like a red and a black. We, we stock those. Diamond Audio, what's up, buddy? Hello. Um, James is watching. Thanks for coming back, James. But no, you can use the wire in the bay. It's it's adequately shielded. I would still recommend putting some yeah. form of a loom around it to just to be safe. Maybe some of the high temp Tessa tape. The, there are two different types of Tessa tape. There's a like a felt style cloth interior, mm -hmm. and then there's the uh, more of like a. Um, it's not really canvas, but uh, it's impossible to rip. That's why you see us using scissors all the time. That's the high temp exterior version of it. Or just get some of the Chinese finger torture um, uh, braided loom, as it's called, uh, and use that. But, yeah, I, I would do that. Any word on James Dean? Did, oh, James. Yeah, good question. Hey, James, if you're watching, how what's going on with your with the chop? Yeah. Um, I know you just bought a motorcycle. Is that a good sign? Uh, can you use true 4-gauge OFC wire to run a second battery in the trunk? Yeah, well, yeah, we do it all the time. Um, that was okay. So typically, when when you're doing a when eh, okay. when you have a front battery and a back battery, yeah. the four gauge between the two is perfectly fine. You just have to make sure you use a fuse holder by the front battery and a fuse hold a fuse holder by the back battery. Um, so that's that's the most important thing are having the front and back fuse holders. Yeah. Uh, the four gauge is fine, especially if you're not upgrading the alternator. Now, if you're going to put something like a you know 250 amp crazy alternator in there, then you definitely want to upgrade to a zero gauge. Mm -hmm. um, but I've installed thousands. 
yes. of dual battery systems with just four gauge and never had an issue. Thing to make sure is to make sure that the ground up front is good. I mean, you have a nice four gauge ground going to the frame and then in the back you have a nice four gauge ground. Yeah. Ground the amps to the frame, don't ground them to the battery unless you absolutely have to. Yeah. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Uh, all right, so did you respond to the two set component set? No, that was, a, all right, that was so, where we died. So about the two component set for the front stage, Yeah. will that work well for sound quality or two will it be too much? No, okay, so here's the deal. No, two component sets up front would be awesome for sound stage. You get that nice, strong, deep mid bass. When mm -hmm. I ran SQ in my car, I had two Morel uh, tweeters. I had one set of Morel mid range and I had two Morel mid bass, and they were all it was all active, and that's what I used for a front stage. So you can never, and even when I downgraded, I just went to a three way set. But no, that was that was the shit. And my buddy Nathan, um, oh, this I'm sorry, that was the poop. Anyways, <laughs> um, my buddy Nathan had two tweeters, two mid range, and three mid bass in his door he went he had to go bigger you know everyone's got to be one cool. step yeah it got to be one yeah. one more bigger it was all morale and so yeah i i yeah the more sound you can get up front the better it's awesome have two good service up front in my car sounds great there you go there you i go. don't know what you drive jason yeah exactly jason what do you have in your car no what kind of car do you have and what do you have yeah two sets damn um, you know, buddy Cartoning, uh, no, por el momento ahorita uh, no hay ningún radio que pueda trabajar con eso. Es probablemente from Waze. So, so I so XP. Hay que esperar go. solamente. Dude, I had a guy spend so much money on a Cyan XB one time. This guy just went crazy. He had a whole new leather kit made for it out of the shiny yeah. silver carbon fiber vinyl. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was the most disgusting thing ever. And then we put an outrageous Alpine system in it. What's that, Edgar? Outrageous. It was, I was like, dude, really? Yeah. In like a 19-inch drop-down? It was so ghetto. Loved it. All right. Um, okay, uh, all right. Eric, so okay. I'm looking to put speakers to my aftermarket head unit. Okay. With no arm. Okay. What would be the best way to find what speakers were the best? So really, that's going to come down. That's going to be easy. You're going to want to look at price points. So speakers that will work good off a of deck power typically aren't the most expensive ones. So for example, like Kenwood Exelons, great off a of deck power. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pioneer TSDs, the new ones, or even last year's version of those, great off a of deck power. Uh, Hertz Dicci's, great off a of deck power. Um, Focal makes the auditors, which are great off a of deck power. Yeah. So, and they're all between, let's say, they're all sub hundred dollars typically. And any one of those will work amazing on deck power. Uh, Jason has Cyan XV. Yeah, he told me. No, we already I'm talked sorry. about I'm, that. I'm, That's yeah, I know, I know. You're good. To go keep going. Keep going. Sorry. All right, let's let's keep it uh, going. Uh, James. Uh, is the shop still open? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I'm reading. All right, so James, probably gonna film an update video on the next couple of days. I know it's been a while since I post anything. It's been. It's been tough to know what to do for YouTube. Yes. You know, James, at the end of the day, uh, so that was the post, so hopefully we'll get, James is going to put up a post here shortly, let us know what's going on in his life. Uh, my only advice as far as what to do on YouTube, do anything. Um, you know, you, you don't have to do 15-minute videos, 15 minutes walking around the shop. I don't know if I've ever even seen what the inside of your store looks like. No. I mean, I, I've Google mapped the thing and drove all over your, your town there, which was... Around? Yeah, that was cool as hell. Oh, so you um, know where he lives. I don't know where he lives. I know where the <laughs> shop is. Um, so yeah, but no, dude, dude, do it, do it from the parking lot, James, do just from say the hi. store, <laughs> um, James, just say hi. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, just, just say, hey guys, just check it in, um, wanted to take you upstairs, um, putting in a basic set of speakers today, no big deal, just wanted to talk, uh, talk to your boy there, uh, I can't ever remember his name, the, the, your partner that you work with, you know, get his history, talk to him for a couple minutes, say, hey man, what kind of car does he drive? Um, film anything. At the end of the day, yeah. pe people just want to know. People, they, they, you know, they, they like you. They want yeah. to know more about you. Hell, you could probably even film playing with your dog or your parents' dog. Yeah. Which you did once, and I watched. So, uh, I'm a sucker. I'll, I'll watch anything. All right. Uh, Marjorie. Marjorie say, hey, guys, I'm coming back for the radio. I have the Tundra. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, remember. Great. Yeah, that was last week. We didn't get a film. Yeah. That. I was totally bummed. Yeah. We're not doing a lot of filming right now because we're actually remodeling the install bay because that was well, part of the headache from a couple, yeah, yeah, 
so we're moving stuff around and it's a mess right now it's driving my ocd is driving me nuts I'm trying to get it done uh we've been working late and then not working late and then ugh. totally working late sorry but we moved fernando so in about six months who's james james is uh cardio, cardio cetera on youtube so if you go to YouTube, type in Cardio Cedra. He lives in New Zealand. Yeah. He has a channel, talks about installing cool stuff. Says Subaru, really funny. Mm -hmm. And LB. <laughs> that's, that's that's not a kick. He's just he's he's not. Did I say Australian? I meant New Zealand. Did New I say, Zealand. If I said Australian, I am 100 percent sorry. I meant New Zealand. Yes. Um, and uh, they drive on the opposite side of the road, so it's really cool to see them work on cars. Getting through firewalls are way easier for uh, for them. It looks yeah. like just pull the glove box out. And also, LB, if you want, go to YouTube and follow <laughs> Stereo Bucks. King. That's Fro. That's Jason. So <laughs> Dan, OCD is real. Yes, it is. <laughs> Subaru. 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 Yeah, okay. and their door panels. I don't care what you call them. Door panels. What are they? What are they? Called? They, we won't get into that. We went down that road a whole nother show. Let's not. It's okay, James. It's okay. Don't. Let's not talk about door panels. Uh, um, what lightning cable extension do you recommend? Oh, I've seen a couple of those vids. They're good vids. Okay. What, what kind of what? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. We're, we're talking lining. about James. Go subscribe lining. to his channel. Damn it. Oh, sorry, kids. I know. All right. Door cards. See, they call them door cards. Door cards. Door cards. All right. Hey. Go ahead. What kind uh, of lightning cable extension do you recommend? Um, I don't. I just buy a longer lightning cable. Uh, the extensions typically don't work. I simple. Um, but I just buy a six foot extent. I just buy a longer cable. Um, and uh, I simple makes um, a six foot and a three foot. Yeah. That's typically all we've ever needed. Uh, if you need something that you got to remember, ah, what's up, Ethan? Um, there's a there's a there's a length that they can be, and they can't be like past like twelve feet, and then they start to degrade too much, and they don't work. Um, the other thing too is that too many connections also degrade the signal. They're not an infinite loop type of thing. They have a, a, a maximum distance they can be reached. That's why the new uh, CarPlay wireless and the Android yeah. wireless are, are so desperately wanted because these cables suck. Um, anyways, go ahead. All right, uh, Miguel, I have a 2000... Everything's good, Ethan. How are you? I have a 2013 uh, Toyota Prius. And I have the HBH201 uh, EX. I want to keep my factory steering wheel controls and the backup camera. Okay. Uh, let's see. No JVL, no okay. navigation. So the question is, what options do I have? What I can get? Okay. So, uh, you're, if it's no JVL, you can use. Uh, you can go to pack. Pack-audio.com, and yeah. you can pick up. It's going to be a 1761 harness, Correct. probably, yeah. um, or is there a newer one? Anyways, go to pack-audio.com. Um, as far as you can still do, you could buy. Oh, just buy an LP4.2. Yeah. LP4.2, and then you're going to need either. There's two harnesses, two different harnesses for uh -huh. the um, backup camera. If you download the instruction manual for the LP4.2, which you can do, it will then tell you which backup camera retention harness you need for that car. There's two of yeah. them. Uh, there's like an 11 and a 12. But the LP4.2 will retain your steering wheel controls. It'll do JBL or non-JBL, so you'll be fine there. Um, and it has the power, because your backup camera is going to be 6 volts. The LP4.2 has the 6 volt output built into it to help to retain the pack. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this means. Yeah. Um, but to retain the pack steering wheel, uh, backup camera. Yeah. So... They have all the parts you need, LP4.2 TY11 or something yeah. like that. Okay. Uh, Ardilla Perez, ¿esa es la única opción para agregar a GPS en el radio que tú tienes? So, yeah. All right, uh, David, trying to extend the lining to HDMI cable, tired to replacing the adapter. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. Um, we did have one guy that found a three-foot one on Amazon. It was a little white cable. It was like maybe two feet, mm -hmm. um, and he did have some success with that. The problem with extending the lightning to HDMI adapter is how the lightning to HDMI adapter works is it's not, okay, it's a miniature Apple TV built into that housing. So when it plugs into the phone, it is not moving the video over the bus. It's actually wirelessly transmitting the movie that you're watching over to the HDMI adapter. So they can't be too far away. The only thing that the cable is doing when it plugs into the phone is authentication. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be real careful. Why not use a USB extension lead? Cause it's lightning. 
It's lightning. Yeah. So um, you got to be real careful and not get it too far away mm -hmm. because it, it won't, it's not made to work that far away. Okay, do you read mica? No. And okay. also, if you really want to save the cable, put heat shrink all over it. Yes. That's what we do. We, so, we heat shrink the whole cable up because um, we've had ours here now for a year. Uh, and we just we put layers of heat shrink on it to make it super rigid. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome, All right. Uh, Saw James. Hey, Dean and Fernando. I ran out of time, but I was going to stop by the shop on Saturday. I'm in Tampa working for a couple of weeks. Came down from Kansas. What oh yeah, yeah. So that? Yeah, yeah. No problem. We're here every day, man. If you if you got time, stop by. We'll say hi. Okay, uh, Miguel, hey guys, what would you recommend to upgrade audio on a 2018 F-150 Super Group x Steel? <laughs> Non-Sony. Well, they're not, none of them are Sony anymore. Not Sony. I listen to all type of music. Um, so, 2018, as long as it doesn't have the Bang & Olsen system, um, you're, you're good. You can pretty much do whatever you want for upgrading there. Um, they they did change from 17 to 18. A lot of things changed on the back end side. Mm -hmm. So like information is is not totally awesome right yeah. now. Um, so we're still trying to figure out what we want to do in those. We just starting to see them, and they are a headache uh, when they have the Bang and Olsen. If it doesn't have that, it's still going to be a standard, more or less install. Um, but it's a six by nine in the front. It's a six and a half in the rear. When we have stock systems yeah. that don't have the premium sound system, we've been using the LCQ-1. We've been using the DM-608. You could also use the DSR-1 if you want to. But you're going to need some form of EQ between the radio and the amplifiers because yeah. they sound terrible without mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, the, the rear has uh, a roll-off, so you don't want to use the rear for subwoofer. You want to use the front for subwoofer. Um, so like when we're doing the audio control, we actually flip the inputs. We put the rear on front and front on rear mm -hmm. because the rear typically feeds the sub channel. So we want to put the front to feed the sub channel. So lots of fun there. But yeah, um, we also, because it's 6x9s, we have three basic packages for 6x9s components. We have the... Um, I mean, that's going to get ready to change because Alpine is mm -hmm. coming out with the S-Type. But we do either the Focal integration, we do the Alpine X-Type, or we do the TS TSD Pioneers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, if I get a wireless charger for the iPhone and use it in my car, would I... Uh, will I give my wireless CarPlay? No. There you go. No, wireless CarPlay is known for Wi-Fi, and right now the only radio that's available on is the Alpine ILX-107. Yes. That's it. All right. Best Bluetooth for the factory CD radio. Six CD radio uh, with the steering wheel controls in a 2003 Suburban. Uh, the iSimple? My simple makes a yeah. piece. Um, just go and type. Like if you're talking like a full Bluetooth hands-free kit, or if you're talking just audio. If you're just talking simple audio, I simple makes tons of products for that. If there's a factory aux jack, Rockford has a cool aux Bluetooth piece that they yeah. sell. Um, but that's yeah. We really, when it comes to integrating like phone and stuff like that, we mm -hmm. just strictly stick to audio. We don't do any calling. But yeah, both Rockford makes two pieces. And um, iSimple also. You can go to iSimple.com and check on see what they have there. All right, Christian. Uh, what is a good radio with three 5-volt uh, preamp outputs? Right now, I'm looking to the Pioneer ADPRS. Just wondering if you, there is a cheaper option. Yeah, any one of the uh, higher end or Kenwood entry level, or not entry level, Kenwood Exelons are going to have 5 volts of output. If you want that EQ, though, you're going to need the PRS-80. Um, Give Paul a call, though. If you want to yeah. deal on one, he usually has refurbished PRS-80s that he yeah. can ship you yeah. um, that are totally discounted. So uh, if you really want a PRS-80, give him a call, 727-216-6170, and see if he has any of the refurbished still because he All gets right. those periodically. Jason. What am I reading? Jason, got to bail, gents. Customer keeping me busy. See you later, Jason. All right, let's see if I can get through this real quick. What's a uh, good radio? Okay, that. Thanks, mm -hmm, thanks, mm -hmm. thanks. All right, well, Jason is called it tonight as usual. What would yep. you recommend component-wise for 2016 Jeep Wrangler? Want it loud. Uh, check out the Rockford Fosgate, either the Power Series 6.5 components, or if you want to go a little less, check out the Punch Series components. But that's what we like to do in Jeeps. 
Uh, the Power Series sound amazing. They got lots of just loud in your face stuff. If you guys need t shirts, Teespring slash yes. store slash five star uh, car stereo. Yeah. Uh, you can find us on Patreon if you'd like to donate to the cause. Mm -hmm. um, Auto EQ is awesome. Yeah. Um, yes, the, the PR City does have Auto EQ. Yep. It's the only radio that's going to have that. Um, I mean, Patreon. Pioneer is the only ones that have that. Yep. Um, tools, you can get them at dnftooldrawer.com. We have all our stuff that we try to use here. We're going to call it a night, guys. Sorry for the break in the video. Yep. It's been fun. It's been real. Check out the podcast, iTunes or Podbean. Yep. And it's out. Oh, <laughs>